how to use Zoho Desk easy tutorial for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy tutorial on how to get started with Zoho Desk, which is a free to use customer omni-channel solution. So you have your customer solution provided in one singular application. So to get started, you're going to go on to zoho.com. And once you click on zoho.com, you can either go on to access your apps or just click on learn more on the desk over here. And once you do that, you can get started with your free Zoho desk trial. So what you're just going to do is you're going to click on access Zoho desk over here. And once you do that, I have logged on to my Zoho Desk account. So like not my Zoho Desk account, but my Zoho account. So you can just sign up with whatever email address you want. You can sign up with your Gmail account. You can sign up with your Twitter account. But what you're going to do is you're going to enter your company name. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to name my company uh, something very simple like shoe store. And after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the portal URL. So shoe store is available and I'm going to continue on with that. And I'm just going to click on continue. And once I click on continue over here, my help desk is being created. Now you can see over here, once your account is set up, you're just going to click on next and then you're going to invite your agent. So if you have any agents and you have their emails, you can just invite them directly like so via email and enter their name. Or agent just basically means anyone that is working for you in the customer service section. So you can invite them like so. And I'm just going to skip on. And then you have to set up your channel. So you can set up your telephony or you can set up your live chat, your social or your help center. So after that, you're just going to click on get started. And once you click on get started, your basic little helpline is being loaded. Now you can see on your left, you have your HQ, which is your headquarters, which is basically like a summary of your entire account. Then you have your feeds on the left. So all of your basic feeds, what everyone is doing can be updated over here. Then you have your views below that. So you have all of your ticketing, which is basically the requests or queries that you have. They appear in your views as a ticket. Then you you have your agent queues so agent queues are depending on how many agents you have i don't have any agents so it's not going to load up for me but below that you have your team's queue as well so let's say within your shoe store you have a team that deals with finances and a team that deals with uh, customer quality issues so you can separate those two teams and have those queues or tickets be reassigned according to the speciality of the team and below that you have your tags as well so whatever a item is tagged as it will appear over here so it could be a quality assurance claim it could be a, a materials item or it could be uh, anywhere from um, shipping delays or shipping issues you can see depending on what kind of ticket it is it is going to be tagged accordingly this is just all for your ticketing then you have your knowledge base so on your knowledge base what you can do is add preset answers to certain questions so if there are standard questions that people always ask about the shipping you can enter a simple kind of answer to all those questions where it provides a simple little answer to those questions after that you have your customer section so anyone that is contacting you is going to appear on your customer section you can click on this plus icon over here and add certain customers as well you can add the field criteria so name is um, Emma and this person is visible to all agents and enter the view name I'm going to add Emma and then you can just click on save over here and then you can add more contacts now you have anonymous contacts you have unmapped contacts you have contacts that are available within like who have contact you within a certain range so you can customize them and organize them and categorize them accordingly after that you have your report section now over here you have all of your tickets you have when a ticket was arrived when a ticket arrived versus when it was open so how much time you spent on tickets how many tickets are on hold how many are overdue how many are currently still unassigned then you have your overview you have the dashboard of your ticket so you can have different ticket reports reporting on your dashboard and then you have your actual report section where you can see a report of what are the popular articles what are the specific tickets by the mode or priority or certain overdue tickets you can find all of your reportings over here then you have your activities so I don't have any activity so it's currently empty but you can click on add task and let's say this is going to be um, shipping info 
and you can add a ticket shipping delay and then you're just going to save that over here and this is like a high priority ticket that i have basically created and assigned it to myself because i don't have anyone else currently and then you can also add attachments and time entries and you can attach any kind of files for the questions and answers that you have and then you also have a certain due date that you can set for a task as well and a great feature with soho is that you can also track your time so you see this task over here I have this timer that I can use to track when a task was completed. So let's say I just turned on this timer. I didn't, you know, finish the task. So once I have finished the task, I can click on mark as complete. And then you can have how much time it took you to complete a task. So it's going to be very easy to create payrolls if you're paying people by the hour or paying them by the amount of time that they spend in customer service. Then you can easily use these kinds of features to further simplify your payment info as well. Then you have your community section where you have your basic community. It's not directly related to your work. You can just build a community and have conversations with the team. Then you have your social section as well. So you can streamline your social media support by clicking on get started over here. You can create a brand or import a brand. So you can click on create brand. And then you can create a certain look for your brand or have a certain logo that appears with all of your social media accounts or all of your conversations. Then you also have your chat function over here where you can support your customers through chat and enable live chat on your website. So you can just allow people to directly communicate with whoever is the online agent that they receive. They can easily communicate and ask all of their queries onto this agent, whoever is online and assign to the chat accordingly now after that if you go back into your ticket section um, you can click on this plus icon on the top right over here to add tickets as you go and after that you have your basic notifications and your basic settings so all of your automations your customization any kind of ticket uh, time tracking modules templates you want to use you have all of that over here and then you have your basic account settings so you can set yourself up as offline you can have chat offline and online as well you can also refer and earn have a radar for zoho desk and link it to whatever kind of website you are running so if i go back onto my tickets and i go onto the all ticket section what you can do is add different columns so you can click on add column and add 45 minutes these are like the columns so i have six hours one hour 45 minutes no due date and on hold so i'm going to delete this column i'm going to delete the one hour column and i'm going to click on save over here and then you have these certain tickets that are going to be uh, categorized according to the column. So right now I have all of my tickets, but I'm going to click on over here and I'm going to create new tickets. So I'm going to enter the contact name. I'm going to enter the subject status is all open and I'm going to enter the due date within the next few hours and I'm just going to click on submit over here and now I have entered a new ticket where I have this in due date as well within the hour it needs to be finished and if I go back onto my basic ticketing you can see over here that these are due in six hours and more and then you have this where it is one hour left to accomplish this ticket and you have your suggested articles as well that you can suggest to certain ticketing answers that you can automatically send as well. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to create your own Zoho Desk account and manage your business and your business customer service section on Zoho Desk. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.